All right, hey guys, welcome back. And we are in week 20 of our crypto NFT games journey. And this has been a extremely crazy week, extremely crazy. And first, the market crash on Saturday. So what happened is you see there was a sharp drop here and then uh, it rebounded slightly uh, on Sunday. And um, the game five market basically just crashed as well. As you can see, like SLP, our beloved Axie Infinity token, went from twenty four cents and straight down to uh, seventeen cents. Uh, it is maintaining at this level, and I think it is very hard for Axie to to climb back up to even like twenty eight cents level um, in in terms of ring in Malaysia. And I think like. Probably it's like nineteen or twenty, or ringgit, ringgit Malaysia level. Because what the, <laughs> the thing with, for large, uh, amount of coin like, SLP like once you fall, it is really hard to get back to the twenty eight cents level. So you, like players will kind of like need to accept that, from now on it's like nineteen cents. Uh, Ringgit Malaysia will be like the higher end, so it will be probably like sixteen to nineteen cent. I will, I will, I will, I will say that. All right. So the third will be we have a new number one in the blockchain space. So in case you guys uh, have no idea, uh, Deaton Arena. It is the new king. Hold on. Uh, it's uh, hold on. It just it's not showing here correctly. They have four point six million players. So Titan Arena is 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 the champ, is the champion right now. So yeah, uh, it's 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 bottom here and and for some reason it's not showing correctly. So XC is no longer the number one. We have a new number one in in the space now. I think there are a few things that um that I would like to highlight. Is one is uh Titan basically. Previously, they had a game that they developed by the name Hero Strike. So, uh, Titan is like a reskin, a uh, reformat, adding in blockchain features. Um, I have uh, currently I have uh, one scholar, one scholar in in under uh, under me, and he is our pro uh, arena Valor player. So we are uh, we are trying out. Um, the scholarship thing but uh, to be honest with you it doesn't really work uh, that well because it is a uh, very player centric so um, eventually most of the time like the game encourages the player to own their own um, hero and as they win games then they will they will win uh, a lot of coins so at this moment um, players that average around 65 to 70 percent a win rate yeah, they will they will earn like quite a decent amount of coins. Uh, fifty percent win rate. I I I think you will be the one that loses money if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, and one thing is MOBA is very 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 popular in Southeast Asia. Um, I think it's like even like I think from what I understand the um top players right now is in like Korea, Taiwan. Uh, sorry, Korea, Thailand, Vietnam. And Philippines, yeah, and it is very very competitive. Like, yeah, it's kind of refreshing refreshing to see like a game. Yeah, so it's four point six million. So this game has only been launched like a week or, or so, and it's crazy like the amount of uh, new new of new players, and yeah, so this puts Axie into a uh, a very shame spot because it's like Axie are still struggling with server issue and 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 a lot of issue. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think like Titan uh, has a lot of their their own problem, but in terms of like, overall gameplay, like like players are very satisfied with the gameplay, and uh, but their marketplace is still buggy. Their coins is still very unstable. Yeah, but uh, do, do do try out if if you're into like games like uh, Brawl Star or or MOBA. And the next one that we would like to highlight, which we put uh kind of a bit of uh, money into which I kind of regretted uh, uh, um, 
it is a anime kind of game. It's called uh, Wonder Hero. Uh, I initially I thought that I would like to play this sort of game, but then eventually I I, I just figure out that the, it doesn't really suit uh, suit my taste. And then mm, yeah, because the crypto market dipped, so I'm kind of like stuck uh, stuck uh, stuck with some of the coins. So I would just wait wait for the uh, some announcement when the coin cl climb back up, and I will just liquidate my position. And next is Polka Starter. So Polka Starter is like a, a what do you call it? a launching platform for game file or interesting projects. So basically, I stake some um, Polka. So then I have like a chance to win all this uh, IPO or ICO or IGO thingy. Yeah. In case you guys uh, um have you guys are not sure, like I have some um assets on uh i'm holding some immutable x coins as well so uh, one of the reason why i'm holding immutable x coins is because like if you look at the upcoming great games they are coming out in the game fight like uh, guilds of guardian uh, amber sword uh, illuvium and uh, they are all going to be on the immutable x uh, platform so i have high hopes on on this yeah. So this is uh, yeah. So, so basically, we have been trying out different different stuff th this week. In in terms of our, our holding right now, uh, we have about six ifs uh, kind of stuck in Axie. After devaluing our 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 Axie, then we have about five point something if on Illuvium, and uh, some coins and uh, some on uh, IMX, and some uh, this is in Ringgit Malaysia. So, yeah, and. Yeah, so for XC, uh, we are applying a 40% off, uh, let's see, yeah. So I'm valuing our, my, our XC, uh, my XC at uh, about 6 ETH per, uh, per XC. So every every week I'm going to de devalue it more and more. So which is why like, our, our portfolio will be going down, mainly due to the fact of, the mainly due to the fact that our XC value uh when went down the drain and srp went down the drain and and all those so uh our this is our current holdings at this moment so we have about um after xc uh, the one that we hold the most is uh, ilv and we hold some other stuff as well yeah so i do have some in the usdt to to buy the dip so then this is the moment of truth we have dropped about a hundred percent in uh, around 90% in ROI to 430% only mainly due to the fact that uh, XC devalue and XC crashed so much that I would need to devalue XC otherwise like this portfolio it doesn't really justify the um, the total asset yeah so yeah last week we were we were somewhere around um, I think 500 yeah 580 so this week we crash about four hundred thirty. We might, we we may continue to if the market goes down. We we may continue to to crash even further, but um, depending on uh, depending on how the market, yeah. So here we are comparing our our portfolio again. So uh, if when are about hundred and seventeen since July, AXS is still very very strong. It's still eight three hundred eighty eight percent, and our portfolio is about four four hundred thirty percent so yeah that's it so it's a short update uh, a lot of interesting stuff happens and in my opinion the current market is bearish it looks uh, it looks like it can go both ways to be honest it's like um, it can be bull like ethereum looks bullish game file looks bearish so depending on which uh, which area so do be careful uh, on your portfolio like be extremely careful so I think it's like if XC continue to wipe out I would like all these 6 ETH here they will just become like close to zero yeah and who knows like one thing like you guys will need to know with SLP at this level to be honest it's like the amount of time spent on playing XC it's about close, close um, kind of near to like the minimum wage in Malaysia. Probably it's even lower than the minimum wage. Yeah, but 
yeah, so, so hopefully uh, we can see like Battle V2 or we can uh, have game land, um, land gameplay. That's it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching and peace out.